Welcome to this introduction to SAP. SAP ERP 6 Enhancement Pack 7 is at the core of what we teach uh, showing you how an enterprise resource planning system works and we do it using Global Bike Incorporated data sets uh, for each of the modules. Uh, so Global Bike Incorporated 2.4 is the latest version and that provides us with all the data for a large multinational bicycle manufacturing company that we can use to um, simulate how business processes are run in a company. During the course uh, we're going to be looking at a number of modules and um, there are these introductory lectures to go with them. Uh, one thing we won't be looking at is warehouse management or the project system or enterprise asset management. So we'll finish our analysis after human capital management. Um, but there are a couple of introductory modules and I'm going to make a video about all of those. So uh, the first one is introduction to SAP, this set of slides. So what we're going to do is we're going to look at who is SAP, uh, which stands for Systems, Applications and Products uh, in Data Processing. The company was founded by uh, up to four people who left uh, IBM and they started the company in Waldorf, Germany, where the headquarters building still is. And we'll look at that in the lecture. It's the world's largest business software company. Uh, it's the largest market leader of ERP, ahead of Oracle and Microsoft Dynamics. And it's the third largest independent software provider in the world. It has between 65 and 70,000 employees uh, in more than 75 countries, with nearly a quarter of a million customers in more than 180 countries. There are 200,000 plus installations of SAP products and it makes those sales and um, links with customers through over two and a half thousand business partners that form part of the SAP community. It's used worldwide and one of the things that ERP is good at is dealing with multiple languages, multiple currencies and multiple balances and consolidating those through parallel general ledger accounting together. Uh, SAP software is available for specific industries with specific modules targeting each. So for automotive, for banking, retail, the public sector and even uh, higher education and research such as would run the University of Portsmouth were we to install it. SAP Enterprise Resource Planning or ERP enables a company to support and optimize its business processes. So it ties together business functions through a process centric orientation. The process is the, the key thing and departments such as the finance department, areas of logistics and human resources support it, those processes as they go through. This helps the organization run smoothly it provides a real-time environment, becoming even more real-time um, more recently with in-memory database processing. And it's scalable and flexible. So let's think about SAP architecture. In this context, client server uh, involves a client, which is a hardware software environment on your PC that you might access through um, a graphical user interface or a web interface. Um, there's a graphical user interface in the labs which you can use uh, to connect to the server. And in our case, the servers are running at the Technical University of Munich in Germany. It's a subsidized university competence center, uh, subsidized by SAP, uh, to deliver uh, applications and um, things like ERP to universities in teaching. Uh, typically, this is a three-tier structure, so you have user interface, an application server which distributes the workload and handles the 
uh, flow of data around the application and one single data repository so that there are no duplicate pieces of data that could lead to inaccuracy of the system and people not believing in its results. Uh, SAP HANA, which is their latest database, uh, actually has the application server built into the database. So you just need a web interface and the database uh, and you are good to go to for application development or running an ERP system. So we're going to look at SAP ERP, but within SAP Business Suite, there are other modules, customer relationship management, product lifecycle management, supplier relationship management and supply chain management, all of which contribute to the business suite, which is used right up to the largest company level. And all those uh, services are delivered via something called SAP NetWeaver, which is a Java uh, enterprise environment based platform. Uh, we will look at that in the labs in more detail so, and also in the lectures. Uh, SAP ERP 6 comes with a number of enhancement packages which if the customer chooses to use them they can uh, activate them uh, for a fee um, and we are on um, enhancement pack 7 uh, in the things that we're using. SAP NetWeaver basically is an integrating platform for things related to people, information, business processes and applications. Uh, there are a couple of extra areas. Composite application framework allows you to make bespoke views into the, into the system and deliver them to an interface of, of a particular type. And lifecycle management for managing applications into and out of the system. Core applications of ERP. Uh, in the ERP 6 we have we start off by looking at sales and distribution, which is SD for selling. Then we look at buying things to fulfill those sales, component parts and that kind of thing, which we do in materials management or procurement. Then we make things to sell uh, if we haven't got enough and that's done in production planning. And then we track all those things, how they've gone in financial accounting and controlling, which is uh, the German way of saying management accounting or cost accounting. And then we'll look at human capital management, the management of people, um, their incentives, the personal management, payroll, etc. We won't look at warehouse management for storing things. We won't look at maintaining assets in terms of asset management, enterprise asset management, and we won't look at uh, customer service, although those modules are available to us. So we'll principally be looking at logistics, sales and distribution materials, management, production, planning. We won't look at the other two. We'll be looking at finance, financial accounting and managerial accounting. And we won't look at asset management or treasury and human capital management, which we should get through as the last modules of the course. Concepts. We have organizational units, master data and transaction data. So what's that about? What types of data do you have in ERP systems contained in the database? Well, firstly, organizational data. The organization of a company um, is divided into different uh, areas. So the client in this case is not the, the client as in client server, which you might find in, a, in a, a computer. It's the highest level of the company, the kind of holding company level that might have um, country companies that form part of that company within it. So you have SAP America, you have SAP Germany, you have SAP United Kingdom. All of those are companies, company codes within the holding company, which is at the client level. So effectively, you could think of this as the client as a holding company for which SAP provides ERP services. Um, at, at that highest level. And you can have sales organization, which might be separate. So let's just look at that in graphical format. Uh, the client level is the enterprise holding company. Within that, you have different companies in different countries or different subsidiaries. 
in each company you might have a plant uh, or you might just have a sales organization sales offices and sales divisions um, typically you will always have a plant uh, in which there are storage locations master data this is these are sheets of the software which have boxes and we define what what's going to go into the box and the data that we in, input to say what that that those um, boxes are going to contain is called master data it's where we define how we receive the transaction data when we sell something so these are types of um, you know what we where we store things how we recognize quality data how we look at the accounts all of these different types of data are materials master uh, sheets which within the system views of the data in other words and you might have at the client level the name of the company weight and unit of measure um, for the for a particular company you then might have at a sales organization level the delivering plant or the loading group and in a storage location level you might be concerned with having a box to record stock quantities transaction data however is um is just the kind of immediate data that um, so for example if you look at the bottom of that standard order overview you've got item one a material dxtr 1100 this is a deluxe touring bike black and we're going to sell five of them so we're recording that for a particular customer which in this case if you look at the top is philly bikes in philadelphia so this is transaction data it's immediate data like the date the time the customer the amount of bikes we're going to sell whereas master data is about creating the receptacles the sheets and the screens for this data to go into and be recognized there are some documents so for example while the system's uh, doing its thing we create a sales document they might that might be an inquiry or a formal quotation an invitation to treat it for example uh, it might be a purchasing document for buying components or an invoice for asking people to pay us for what we've made uh, it might be a material document that's being moved or created and it might be an accounting document and we can see how those flow in the document flow so here we've got the deluxe touring bike black being bought there are five of them requested um, in an inquiry that came to us uh, which we input into the system and then we converted that you it's what you'll do in the lab you'll convert the inquiry to a quotation and then convert it again to a standard order when it's actually contractual there'll be a delivery note uh, or uh, and requests there will be a picking request for components there'll be a goods issue when the thing is ready to be delivered and an invoice sent to the customer to say pay us and when they have paid us in accounting the payment is recognized and the value goes into um, into the company so that's an introduction to SAP ERP and um, we'll go on now in the next module to look at um, the introduction to Global Bike Incorporated thank you very much